Hi, this is Jamie. I am back from a brief holiday stint uh, with my family, my parents, and my sister um, in Virginia. I'm in St. Louis, and every Christmas I drive home. It's about a 13-hour drive, and I spend Christmas with my family, and then I drive back here to St. Louis. And one of the things I love about that drive is that, especially at Christmas, is that I get to listen to a lot of podcasts that talk about their favorite games of the previous year. And often I hear about some games that I didn't even hear of that year. Usually there are a lot that I've heard of, and then there, usually once per list there's a game that that reviewer just really latched onto that, that I, I haven't heard of at all. And this year, one of those games was a little game called Go Cuckoo. And so today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Go Cuckoo. Because one of these reviewers liked it so much that I was like, I've, I've got to try this little game. It sounds like a cute little idea. I don't play a lot of dexterity games, but why not? I'll give it a try. The rules are really, really simple. Um, basically, you are trying to build a nest, and I'll show you what that means in a second. But you're trying to build a nest with these sticks um, that are in this game. Here are the sticks. And put eggs. Here are those eggs. Try to put those eggs in the nest um, and uh, try to get rid of all your eggs using this nest that you're building. It's such a simple game, it was almost a little hard for me to find a favorite mechanism because it's so streamlined and it's more one of those games that's just kind of fun and like to play at the beginning of game night. But I realized what the really clever thing about this game is, is the way that it uses the box, because this is the box, this is what the game comes in, uses the box as a crucial component to the game. Um, it's a brilliant integration into the game. In Goku Ku, at the beginning of the game, you take all these sticks, you put them in the middle of this can, which is also the box, and you let them unfurl out like this. And then during the game, you're taking these sticks and you're placing them horizontally until you build a nest. Let's see if I can get an angle where I can show this. You can kind of see how that's, uh, you can barely see it. But you're building a, a horizontal nest and you're putting eggs on that nest. Without this container, without this component that is also the container, this would not be possible. Now, of course, they could have included a box and then put this can in the box, but that would just be extraneous. You really don't need that. By just including it this way, the setup is super easy because you literally just open the box, put these in your hand, and let them go, and the game is set up, which is pretty incredible. So I thought this was a kind of an interesting topic because I know there are some other games that use the container itself, the box, as an important com component in the game. And I think that's really clever because as designers, I know that for me as a designer, I view the box as a storage device and not as uh, a usable component. Um, and so I really think it's clever when, when designers do the opposite of that and actually use that, that kind of throwaway, not throwaway, but that, that container as, as, a, as a component that ties to the mechanisms of the game. So if you have a game, if you want to talk about your favorite component of Goku Ku, feel free to do that in the comments. But I'm almost more interested in any games that you play that use the box as a core component of the game. Let me know in the comments. Thanks and Happy New Year. This is the, the first video entry of 2017. Thanks.